Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. It's been a while, I haven't done a proper sit down video, so I thought I would fill my August empties. Just because, as I had promised in my last empties video, I think this one is more representative of what has been going on in my life. So, I'm a bit tired because I'm just out of a hundred hours week. I had a lot of work, so I worked every day, Monday to Saturday, from about 7 a.m. to 11, 12 p.m. And um, so I'm a little bit, you know, um, in that stage where you just need to take care of yourself, otherwise, you know, you're going to just crash. So um, you will see a lot of self-care products in, in these empties. But let's get started. I'm going to just walk you through my skincare first, then my makeup empties, and then miscellaneous. So in skincare, I have been using the same products for about... I would say three four months so I had started using a selection of products when I was in Belgium just packing my things and trying to downsize and I focused on using these uh, during the last month in Belgium then as I moved to London and then when I moved to my place so quite a few of these products have been just a constant in my skincare routine the first thing is this magic all care cleansing oil it's hazel seed oil cleanser I got it from uh, the brand is April scale but uh, the website is no longer operational, so I th I'm not sure whether you can get it elsewhere, but it wasn't really my favorite. It does the job, it cleanses the skin, um, it is quite greasy obviously, some oils have uh, tend to be less greasy, but this one just took everything off, including my eye makeup, so it definitely worked as an oil cleanser, it's just that I didn't like the smell, and so it wasn't my favorite product ever, but it wasn't bad in such a way that I would want to toss it, that's why I have finished it. And then I have another Korean product that, on the other hand, I have been loving. It was my favorite product. I have mentioned it many, many times. And it's the Organic Flowers Cleansing Oil from Wamisa. Um, when I started first using this, Wamisa was not much known. It was a, one of those smaller brands that not many people know about. In the last six months, they have expanded massively, including in the UK, where now they are stocked in quite a few places, including Whole Foods. And so I feel like it would be much easier for me to get this rather than try to buy it from a Korean website. But it is more on the expensive side. I mean, this, this is not an oil that I want to use just to take off the gunk. It is more something that I want closer to my skin, you know, like to clean as a second cleanse because it has fermented elements. And I just love the smell of it, nothing too sweet or florally. I just like how it smells. So it has been definitely an indulgence. I have finished it, but I would not repurchase any of these two in the coming few months just because I have a series of oils that I had bought from Japan and Korea that I want to use up. So I'm going to switch to these very, very shortly. Then on the other spectrum, I have this Canadian brand. So you guys know the Desium. Um, it's Canadian, they do quite a few science-oriented um, products, and they have this, uh, The Ordinary. So The Ordinary is their more budget-friendly line, and the idea is that they cut on marketing and have very simple packaging, and so they just sell you the good stuff. Now, I have two products in here. The first one is the Maya Cinemite 10% plus Zinc 1%. Now, this is... Um, it's a, it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula and it's meant to kind of help all get all rid of all the gunk in your skin. And this is one of the rare products that the first time that I used it I saw a difference and so it kind of just made it to my holy grail product and now it lives in my bathroom. So um, this is the first bottle that I have finished but the moment I realized that this is something that I like, I ended up buying three of them. So I have this empty, I have one that is open in my bathroom, one in my travel bag, and a backup. That's how good it is. And the ordinary products are in a very affordable price range. So this would be around the five and six or six pounds, uh, which makes it quite affordable for how long you, you get to use it. Now what it does is that I just usually use it after cleansing my face and I feel like it really helps with closing my pores because I tend to have enlarged pores I have a bit of a congested skin it has nothing to do with how much makeup you wear or not because I know a lot of people have that misconception wearing a lot of makeup and not cleaning it properly definitely uh, contributes but the congestion in, is my, in my skin is like skin borne so. so this helps with that 
and I will keep using it. Then I have the Asorbyl Tetraisopalmitate Solution, 20% in vitamin F. That's definitely something you will notice with this brand. They try to use the scientific names. It can be a bit intimidating. I don't really care. I will just do my research and then try to see what it is. Uh, I wish they had more straightforward instructions for people, but fine. Uh, I think that they like to retain the whole scientific vibe of it, but fine. The idea is that it is a uh, very high strength vitamin C that is solubilized in oil. That's the bottom line. Now, uh, this is not my favorite um, formula for vitamin C. I did not necessarily enjoy using this. It is in a very, very lightweight oil. So the moment you just put it on your face, it just runs down. And that just made it more of a hassle to use it because like, I'm always trying to use it very, very fast before it drips down my face. I have spilled this bottle once. I didn't lose much of the product, but still, I would probably not repurchase it. I would switch to other forms of vitamin C because just this was not the most practical way for me to use it. Then I have this Amor Vita uh, moisturizer, so it's just a balancing moisturizer. It comes in this luxurious packaging. I got this for free in one of the Look Fantastic boxes that I had bought, and um, it's quite moisturizing. I absolutely love the smell of it. It was, it was really, uh, yes, definitely a balancing moisturizer because it didn't feel greasy, it didn't feel heavy, yet I felt that it moisturized my skin. But was rich enough for me not to need something else on top so I felt like I could use this morning and night quite enjoyable I love the smell of it it had a bit of a spicy smell to it which I really really liked um, I don't think I would repurchase it just because what well, it was amazing and it definitely ranks among my favorite moisturizers of all time Omovitsa is a very very expensive brand so I will probably run through what I have in moisturizers and reconsider whether or not I want to purchase this just because of the price point. Um, as I get to discover a lot more skincare, I also realize that there are some things that could be better suited for me at a better price point. But for now, this was a luxury, but it was totally like I finished every single drop like I was scraping it. That's how good it was. <laughs> Then I have this Darfin mask. So this is a, a, vetiver, <clears throat> a vetiver aromatic care stress relief detox oil mask. And this was just a small sample that I got in one of the... I got it in a box. It's not a look fantastic one. It was the detox box that I got. And um, um, it's from Darfin. So it's a French brand. They use essential oils. They have their own spas. And their entire... Um, experience with their product is always has an olfactive factor so you always have a sense of smell aromatherapy something like that essential oils that are involved and this is no exception um the formula of this is a very thick sticky gel that you apply so it is it is a yellow gel that you apply all over your face in a thin layer you leave it on for a few minutes if you want you can breathe it in it has a, that vetiver scent which you guys know i have in almost every perfume that i wear um and then you just add some water. Once you add water, it turns into milk. And then you rinse it off. To be completely honest, I haven't felt what it did while I had it on. But after I wash it off, it always feels good. Now, this was not my favorite texture just because it's so sticky and gooey when you apply it. It's not really enjoyable. But when you rinse it and it turns into milk, I feel like right afterwards my skin looks much better. Uh, I'm not really sure about the stress relief part of the scent, but definitely my skin looks less stressed. So on my skin it was quite useful. Uh, I really liked or enjoyed using it. Um, I've been through a stressful period. I mean, I've moved countries, I am in a new job, I have a lot of work. So definitely any little bit can help. And then at some point I think I was traveling somewhere and I had these eye patches so they just look like eye patches with, with which are completely black I absolutely loved how they felt they they weren't really like a sheet mask te texture they were like a collagen mask you know those plasticky things that feel like a membrane when you put it on they stick perfectly they stay moisturized for quite a long time this is very rich in hyaluronic acid but my thing with these masks and see and sheet masks is that i always feel like you're almost paying too much for a single use like i like them as an indulgence but i always hesitate to go and pay for it myself so i, I like getting them in boxes and things like that but i don't seek them just because i think that the price per use can be a bit 
steep but if I have them that's just perfect I remember I was super tired I had puffy eyes and I had this on for like 20 minutes felt like a dream now um I think we're done with skincare so I'm gonna move to makeup and then hair care so in makeup I have finally finished my foundation from the ordinary this is the colors foundation because they also have one called serum the Coral's foundation is the one that is more pigmented. It's slightly more full coverage in case you have blemishes. I don't use much of it. I use a single pump on my entire face and I think that it's good enough because I don't really seek perfection. I just try to have a slightly more homogeneous look to my face and it really does the job. The price point is just a dream. I think it's $5.99 or something like that. And just for reference, I have this MAC pump that I have bought and it's about seven pounds if I'm not mistaken. So this single pump of made of plastic is more expensive than this foundation, which explains why I ended up getting backups of it. Now, at the time when I wanted to get this, there was a problem, it was out of stock, but as soon as it went back in stock, I ended up getting it again. My reference is 31Y Dark with yellow undertone. It has an SPF 15, so in case you're worried about that, 15 is not the most, um, I would say, protection that you could get, but still, that helps. Texture is great, uh, the pump functions well all the way down to the end, to the very last drop. I still have a couple uses, but I didn't want to save it until September just to show you an empty. I have a backup that um, is already sitting at my vanity, and I have a backup that sits in my travel makeup bag. So uh, I will definitely continue using it. I have a couple other foundations that I've had from before I discovered this that I still need to go through, but it's so good that I'm less excited to actually try these. That's how good this thing is. The Ordinary. And then I have finished this eyeliner from Kiko. I had bought this when I was in Milan, so I did a trip in Milan to Milan with my sister. It was almost like my closing trip. It was for my birthday, but also in case some of you have not um, followed that series. My last day at work was actually officially on my birthday. It was kind of planned. And so I was just wanting to do something luxurious for myself to kick off a new phase in my life. And I remember I just bought this with my sister. It was on a whim. Kiko is not super expensive, but I just don't need many more um, eyeliners just because I have enough. And so this one was just a, a very impulsive purchase because I was at the till with my sister and I just looked at it. It was new. It was uh, their collection uh, for the spring at the time. I tried it at that uh, at night. I, I washed my hands and it wouldn't go, come off. And so I realized it was really good. So the following day I ended up going and buying it. It's called the Free Soul Eyeliner. And uh, this shade is 04. I'm not really sure whether it was it is still sold but uh that's one thing if you didn't have many eyeliners i would go and stock up on these if you can find them it's unbelievably smooth very soft on my waterline you know you have that membrane that can be a bit soft and sometimes when you try to use a normal eyeliner it's it just watery and you kind of flinch i don't get that with this that's how buttery it is and i have used it up so um, uh, sadly, I don't have a Kiko next to me, so I'm not going to repurchase. And also, I will just replace it with one of my Avon Glimmer Sticks. I have eight of them right now, so it's not like I don't have any liner. Um, then I will have hair care, and then body care, and then miscellaneous. So hair care. I have finished my Bumble and Bumble Color Minded Sulfate Free Shampoo. So this is something that I had bought when I was still in Brussels. When I was in uh, visiting my sister in London, my hair was gunky and I ended up buying the uh, Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo, which is, which is completely stripping, but is not color safe. I loved it so much that when I went back to Brussels, I looked for something else from the same brand that would be for colored hair. And it was this one. So I really, really love it. Uh, I have used it, obviously, all of it. It's quite expensive. This was 32 euros for these bottles, which is about uh, maybe a bit less than 30 pounds. That's about $30 also. So it's quite, quite expensive for just, you know, a shampoo. But I absolutely enjoy it. It's one of the best shampoos I've ever had. Uh, this bread is just, it's a league of its own. 
um, and I never actually go and rave about shampoo and I do about this so uh, I used it all added water everything you know the classic thing um, I would not repurchase because since then I have discovered Philip Kingsley which is another brand that is inspired by hair science and it is a professional brand so it's something that salons use a lot and it doesn't have a lot of marketing behind it so the margins are still quite okay which means that I can buy the salon size and still have the quality that I would have in something like this without you know paying the markup because a blogger was sent somewhere in Barbados right so um, I have slowly started switching to Philip Kingsley still recommend this I mean if you like an indulgent shampoo experience this is amazing Philip Kingsley is just a no fuss one I have started using it I have used it now two or three times on my hair I think it's really gentle on my scalp because I have the big salon size I am a bit more generous I will probably show you my updated routine in a few weeks just because I want to wait until I finish quite enough products for hair to have a, a relatively new routine so you, get, you guys don't get bored. I don't want to show you always the same thing. And then I have finished my Macadamia Professional Ultra Rich Moisture Mask. This was my third top of it. And as I said last time, I'm not going to repurchase just because I feel that my hair no longer needs as much moisture. I feel that just because I wash it often and, and all that, I just feel like it's no longer as dry as it used to be. So yeah it is color safe cruelty free extremely nourishing your hair feels like silk after you use that so if you have coarse hair or very dry hair this is this is a godsend so i highly highly recommend it it is expensive it is a salon bread it doesn't have the best distribution ever so sometimes it's quite difficult to get your hands on it but if you can quite quite a nice buy then let's talk about body and there is something that I have been absolutely loving, which is when I have moved to my apartment, now I have a bathtub. So I take baths. And over the last week, as I was working these 18 hours a day, I just, every night I would come back and there were two things that I was grateful for. One was that I had my routine, you know, my capsule skincare. So I didn't even have to think about what I do because... When you're tired and you arrive at your place at around 1 a.m., the last thing you want to do is actually think about what you're going to put on your face. You don't even feel like brushing your teeth. Uh, but what I did is that because I have my capsule, I just take that, I do all of that stuff with my eyes half closed, and then I get in the bath and I put Epsom salts. And that would help with just all the fatigue that I have. It's not equivalent to sleeping, but it helps. So I have quite a few bath products because ever since I moved in here, I'm just, you know, enjoying, I'm living the life, uh, you know, bath. So I have the first thing, which is a bubble bath from Fragonard. Fragonard is a very old fragrance house. Think of it like Guerlain or something like that, but it is less, less known. And this one is a Verbena one, obviously. I had taken it from a hotel that I had been through, that I had been to, and it's been sitting at my place for quite a long time, but it was it was about time for me to use it. It was it was enjoyable, but I didn't smell the verbena that much. I did have bubbles, yes. I did smell the verbena, verbena a little bit, but it wasn't like that scent that just you know fills in the room. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna go and seek uh, the full size of this. So it was great to have it, especially that it was for free. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't actually go and buy it and then I have this two samples that I had from Delbov now I have used Delbov products about a year ago I had gone to their to their center I had spent a lot of money on their products but then because at the time I wasn't very good at doing my caps or skincare and I was just dabbling in everything I ended up eventually tossing them after a year just because you know they were expired and this stuff is organic you don't want it hanging around but I didn't trust the, the samples. They smelled absolutely amazing. Now, realistically, I wouldn't have used just this one thing. So I used both of them. And this is called the Valerian, which is the name of a plant. And it's a deep relaxation foaming bath. It didn't foam much. Let's go there. It didn't foam much. I mean, I did have a bit of a layer of foam, but I'm not really 
yeah, it, it was a bit disappointing in the forming department, but the smell, the feeling, it was pretty, pretty luxurious. I absolutely loved this. Uh, would I buy the full size? Yeah, if I had access to it, I would buy the full size, but the Del Boeuf Cosmetics brand is not very readily accessible outside of Belgium, so yeah. And these are also bath salts that I had uh, from hotels. Um, this is from This Works. It is a, a brand that I used to be attracted to. I have a bit fallen out of love with it. Uh, I'm, I don't know. It's a love-hate relation. I wouldn't go as to say hate, but it's just that it no longer excites me as much as it did. And so these are just bath salts. I have used them. They smelled a bit artificial. That's the part that I didn't like. It almost smelled like it has a fake lemon scent. And yeah. So I didn't really enjoy it. Same thing with this. This is from a brand called Naturals. And it has organic lemon, but for some reason it didn't feel quite organic. It kind of felt like... There is a term we say in Morocco. We say Sunny Croix, which is actually... Which was the very, very old name of uh, a product, a cleaning product, which is like Mr. Clean, back in the day, because... Back in the 70s and 80s, I think, there was a brand called La Croix, which is French. They used to make home cleaning products, and one of them was called Sunny Croix. That brand was purchased by Procter & Gamble in Morocco, and they were making uh, Mr. Clean, which we call Monsieur Propre. But the thing is, we still call the thing Sunny Croix, so uh, yeah, it smells like that. So I didn't really enjoy it, and I actually, matter of fact, a few days ago, I ended up going to Boots and buying this massive thing of Epsom salts. It was a kilo, and that kilo was is normally five pounds. It's called from the brand is called West Lab, and I actually paid two forty nine because it was on sale. So that's what I'm gonna do from now on because then I can just scoop an entire cup and then and use that in the bath so I can feel that you know it acts, it helps with achy muscles and things like that. So that's quite good. I use the Naturals Kerin Body Lotion. It's the same brand as the sauce that I just last uh, showed you. I got this from a random hotel in Germany as I was burning the midnight oil. So um, not the best memories from it and I would probably not try to buy this. I have seen it being sold in some German stores like Douglas, but I don't know. From a psychological point of view, just remembering in which circumstances I got this, I just don't want to buy the full size of it. Then I have this black soap from Morocco. The brand is called Argapur. I had bought this last time that I went in Morocco. It still has a tiny bit left, but it is expired. These things are organic. You don't want to keep them hanging in your bath and shower forever. So I have used most of it, but uh, yeah, I, I'm letting it go because it's, it's, it's over. I like black soap whenever I have the opportunity I get some when I'm in Morocco and so the next time that I get a chance to go or my sister goes I will ask her to get me some then I finished an oral B yeah nothing exciting but the exciting thing is that I recently bought the Marvis toothpaste it's an Italian thing so I'm gonna try to um, to switch to that and see but, uh, I still have a couple tooth, tooth toothpaste tubes that I want to go through first and then I'm tossing these two Avon um, uh, nail polishes just because um, they're completely dried up. Um, this one is very thick. I tried using it the other day. Same thing for this one. This one was all the way down here, so it was a bit halfway done. Uh, they're pretty good, quite inexpensive, so I'm, I don't really feel bad for only using them halfway. I am a bit more diligent in how I use my things now, but there is no point in sticking to products that don't work at all. So this is actually what I had. It's a 25 minute video, oh my god. But glad we went through it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm happy to be sitting back again and filming videos for you guys. So if you have any requests, I know I got tons of requests for career videos and I'm making a mini series on that, so stay tuned. But if you have any other requests, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to oblige. I'll see you very soon on my channel. Take care.